this uh, internship program also. Um, I just want to say that um, it is a fantastic uh, program. Uh, we have had the privilege really of having 11 interns so far. All of them have been absolutely fantastic uh, uh, colleagues and made significant contributions to the work of the A conference and I just hope that with the support of the family, with the support of uh, the AG's uh, department, we can continue this program for as long as possible and I would only recommend it to all of you. This is a slide at the end of the presentation that I always like to show because it shows the evolution of uh, some of uh, our core uh, conventions. Um, and you see the, uh, the number of contracting states that they uh, currently have, and you see the evolution. And you see that, for example, a, a convention like the Opus D Convention, which is um, not the youngest convention, in 1961, it's more than uh, 55 years old now, but it continues to attract um, new contracting states at a fairly high uh, rate. Same is true for uh, the family law convention, service evidence, the same thing. Maintenance and choice of court, which uh, finally, uh, you know, was off to a, uh, an impressive uh, start. Um, all of this shows that again, the work of the Hague Conference continues to be uh, very relevant, um, uh, and I think will just continue to grow in importance. Frankly speaking, uh, in our view, the uh, the world is basically a big flat place, and um, very often, very quickly, a personal relationship or a cross-border commercial uh, transaction has this um, uh, international element that raises uh, all sorts of private national law issues. Um, work in the pipeline, I was referring already to the uh, judgments project. Um, there is another uh, group that is working on what we used to refer as the, the, the surrogacy arrangements uh, program or, or project. Um, a very, very delicate, very difficult, very uh, sensitive uh, project. Uh, surrogacy arrangements raise all sorts of uh, very complex and complicated private national questions. Um, we only had one meeting of the working group, only to realize again that uh, this is going to be very difficult. Um, so. Um, will need more time to, uh, to know exactly where to go with this uh, project, but uh, it's uh, very important. Um, I refer to the video link uh, experts group. Um, another important work in the family law uh, field is the recognition of uh, voluntary agreements. What we mean here in particular are mediated uh, agreements. Um, nowadays, typically, uh, family mediation uh, involves various aspects, say, of custody rights, of visitation rights, of very specific practical arrangements during the holiday period, what have you. Uh, there might be uh, property uh, elements that are being addressed in these uh, mediated agreements. And their recognition abroad, or the, 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 uh, the, the attempt to give effect to these mediated agreements abroad does raise uh, complex questions of private national as well. Um, I would not be surprised if that uh, were actually to become the next family law Hague uh, convention on the recognition of mediated uh, agreements. Recognition of civil protection orders, that's on a side burner. Uh, we don't have the bandwidth or the resources to do a lot of work in this field. And cooperation in respect of protection of tourists and visitors abroad, this is a new uh, project that has been uh, launched by, uh, brought to the Hague Conference by Brazil in particular, uh, quickly endorsed by uh, the whole of Latin America, now also supported by China. Uh, so uh, we are about to start a feasibility, a desirability and feasibility study to see what exactly this actually means um, and uh, what type of work uh, the Hague Conference could helpfully do in this uh, um, so a fairly full uh, pipeline, again, with uh, uh, very limited resources. There is always uh, a lot to do for us. Um, I would like to finish by uh, just looking uh, forward a little bit. Um, I was referring to the origin of the Hague Conference. Uh, 2018 will be a big year for us because we're going to celebrate the 125th anniversary of uh, the Hague Conference. Um, the 
purpose then will really be to put a new strategic plan of the organization uh, on the table uh, and for the members uh, to uh, hopefully endorse that strategic plan, the HCCH Agenda 150, um, essentially trying to develop a strategy that would really enable and allow us to become a truly universal organization to continue to increase the regional presence, see Africa, see the Middle East, see maybe other parts of uh, Central Asia. And that will come with a certain price because things just do not happen like this. You need resources to implement all these uh, strategic uh, developments, both financial resources and human resources. Um, but we really need uh, more support from uh, our members if we really want to implement uh, all of these uh, initiatives. And I think the, the role of the A conference in nowadays world is so significant, is so fundamental, is so central uh, to the reality of now, uh, nowadays uh, life and, 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 and commercial world um, that uh, the work only needs to uh, be increased, to be expanded, and that we really have to make a, an additional effort to make governments around the world realize that what we do is of relevance uh, for them as well. I leave you on that note. I will be very happy to take any questions you may have uh, further on, and I do apologize for having taken a bit more time. Sorry. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Bescani, for your clearly passionate and enthusiastic work in this uh, program, and particularly seeing the, uh, the chart there with increase in the connected uh, countries through 140 is a great effort of yours and your colleagues. So congratulations on the on your, your work that you do. And um, <laughs> thank you for, uh, for your contribution today. That's very kind. Thank, thank you very much. Thank appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 And now, before I call on um, uh, Rick Mitri to take over, I'd like to uh, just acknowledge a couple of other people that I've just seen walk in, and uh, and uh, Justice Joanne Harrison uh, has just joined us. So, I welcome her. I welcome, of, of course, Professor Professor Ufa Debate uh, from Sydney.